Hey guys, welcome to Rithi Define. My name is Saro and today we are going to discuss some important news that happened around the world. So let's start. E3D Online, an award-winning 3D printer components OEM, has released its latest dual drive extrusion system, Hamera. The product was initially called Hermes, but changed after intervention from a company already using the name. The system incorporates the company's VB hot end with a new filament drive design to process flexible filaments at 50 mm per second. The Hemera's dual drive arrangement was established to push the grip compared to a single drive system. According to E3D, it is able to push filament with up to 10 kg of force. Furthermore, users are able to adjust filament tension as a result of a secondary gear shaft present on a movable sprung idler. Moving on to next, researchers from ETS Zurich have now used a new technique to produce complex glass objects with 3D printing. The method is based on stereolithography. David Murray, Lorenzo Barbera, and Kunal Masani, in the complex materials group led by ETS professor Andres Studard, have developed a special resin that contains a plastic and an organic molecule to which glass precursors are bonded. The resin can be processed using commercially available digital light processing technology. This involves irradiating the resin with the UV light patterns. Wherever the light strikes the resin, it hardens because the light sensitive component of the polymer resin cross link at the exposed points. The plastic monomers combine to form a labyrinth like structure, creating the polymer. Next, located in the Jiangsu region of the Suzhou, is a former mining town that has been completely rebuilt attracting investments from some of the largest construction companies in the world. One particularly innovative project stands out, conducted by construction 3D printing company Winsun. The very first 3D printer river event wall, over 500 meters long, is the largest 3D printer structure ever built. In stream restoration, river engineering or coastal engineering, revetments are sloping structures placed on a bank or cliff in such a way as to absorb the energy of the incoming water. The 3D printed wall consists of separate 3D printed molecules that provides the necessary protection against the strong river currents and the relative erosion protecting coastal habitats, even those farther inland, from wetland flooding, aquifer and agricultural soil contamination and lost habitat for fish, bird, trees and plants. This highly ecological riverbank helps to defend the shoreline from the waves, impact and the risk of collapsing under the pressure of rising water levels. These effects are caused by co-acting forces such as water erosion, corrosion, earth pressure and underwater osmotic pressure, creating a durable, natural looking skin substitute to cover burn injuries or other wounds has been a bioengineer's holy grail for decades. Now we may be much closer thanks to a new technique for 3D printing skin completing with working blood vessels. The research done at Rancela Polytechnic Institute and Yale University uses living human skin cells turned into a liquid bioink. The bioink is used to print artificial skin, which then grows its own blood vessel system. The RTI and Yale steel new grafts are made with bioink containing cells from infant fossil, human endolithial cells and umbilical cord blood, human endothelial colony forming cells and human placenta parasites from placenta tissue, all suspended in collagen from rat tails. This forms the inner layer of the skin, the dermis. A second bioink made from another type of human forcing scales, keratinocytes, is printed on top to form the outer layer of the skin, the epidermis. Then in the petri dish, endothelial cells and the placental pericytes begin to assemble themselves into a tiny vascular networks. A new 3D printing technology developed by New Zealand's innovation agency Callaghan Innovation has won the 2019's ENVI. Engineering Innovation Award for creating highly detailed object which is smaller than a strand of human hair. LRP, Laminated Resin Printing, is a new type of 3D printing that will underpin technologies for prototyping, electronics, microparts, microsensor, and IoT components, and optical devices, among others. LRP enables the printing of some millimeter structures with the complex geometries of up to 100% density. In extraordinary low layer thickness with imaging speeds as quick as 1 second per layer independent of complexity or density. So guys, thank you for watching. This was all that is happening around 3D printing world at this time. I hope you have liked the video, so please subscribe. And also to know more about 3D printing, we have a 3D printing guide. Please check it out. Thank you for watching and keep printing.